Hey there, Gerald 508. Welcome to what's going to be a very, very fun course for all of you. Very rewarding, very useful for, you, for your lives and your careers. So um, what is today? Okay, I'm going to check my phone here. It's uh, June 22nd, 2023. All right. And uh, it is Thursday. And what I, the, this introductory video is all about is just, first of all, to give you a feel how the course is run um, I, for every single um, weekly assignment you see right here there's a lecture so I'll be, I'll be making these YouTube videos okay and uh, so I just sent you the link and uh, the point of the YouTube video is just to guide you through whatever the curriculum is in terms of the assignment that you're given for that week uh, you'll see how it's laid out um, there are two sessions each week okay um, it's you know fairly thick with material but uh, it's very doable and um, it's something that um, you, know, you guys can handle in this compressed uh, six-week version of the semester, right? So very cool, very cool. So um, I'll be sharing this course with my co-instructor and wife, Julia Walsh, and you can see us right there on the banner. And uh, we have been teaching this course together for many years. Uh, she brings a very unique perspective, different from mine. Um, I'm a, a biologist by training. So I'm going to make the biology extremely approachable and palatable, um, and I guarantee that for you guys. Um, she is a lawyer by trade, okay? But um, and you, many of you have already had her courses uh, in in the master's program, where she teaches all about um, uh, kind of the legal issues that you need to understand when you're running large facilities. Uh, like an assisted living facility or, or a skilled nursing facility. And, uh, and then she also teaches a course on human resources, um, all about uh, really the, the uh, corporate side of, of um, uh, hiring employees and, and the rights employees have with respect to the corporate side. Separate from that, we teach this, uh, a great course uh, for undergraduates together that is a full spectrum of aging, and so she's very, very in tune with uh, uh, of the biology. She's actually was trained as a cancer researcher back in the day, and um, and she's very, very in tune with the social sciences as as, as well as as me. Okay, awesome. All right, so that's kind of our background, and so the whole point of this is how do you navigate this course? Okay, so you're going to see. First of all, you're going to be getting emails from us. The emails are sent to sent to you. Um, as part of the announcement. So the chronologically, we sent you one email and you'll see that the um, the uh, messaging that we uh, send to you guys will start from the bottom and then move up, okay? Um, as we keep adding more and more information that we want to transmit to you at that moment in time, okay? These lectures that I, um, that I post, I'm gonna show you where they're posted, but I will also send them out as um, a direct email link, just as a reminder, okay? We'll give you constant reminders about um, assignments that are due. And so what you need to do um, as you enter this class is to, um, is to uh, get out your iPhone, okay? Or use your Outlook or whatever it is and, and really calendar up um, all the different types of assignments and all the different duties you have so that you don't forget. All right. So that's that's the, the key element here. Um, obviously, the first thing that everybody should do, you know, is you download the syllabus right here. You click right here like so. All right. And you hit syllabus and here it comes. OK, awesome. Let me go right into it right now. And. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. I hope. There it is. Okay. Now um, you hit enable editing to get the, the format that you want to have in order to, to view it. Okay. And there it is. Okay. I don't need the na navigation side to my um, my Word doc here. So I'm just going to X out on that. I actually probably should have turned my computer off and restarted it. It's a little chuggy if you can notice that. All right. So this is our information right here. Okay. Um, these, these are um, our uh, email accounts right here. Um, uh, we'll also send out our, our cell phone number, text number, so that you guys can address us directly via text if you have an emergency, okay? So this is all about the course objectives and what we're doing. I'll tell you straight up, um, this is all about um, 
um, dealing with life challenges, okay? And, um, you know, a lot of us have uh, challenges that are thrown at us that, um, that are random, okay? And no fault of our own. And then sometimes we have life challenges that, you know, it's because of things we've done, we own it, but still we want to be able to deal with it, okay? So we're going to set up the scenario of uh, educating you into the psychological consequences and then how that bridges over into the physiological consequences of having stress okay and um and um with respect to that um, spectrum of stress and then we're going to see how <clears throat> that modulates many aspects of your body's physiology um, your likelihood of developing long-term atherosclerosis that can affect uh, brain function through stroke through um, uh, a risk for Parkinson's, for a risk for Alzheimer's, et cetera. This is not the long haul, of course. And, um, and then we also look at how stress can, um, can modulate other physiological functions. And we'll, we're going to hone in on the immune system and inflammation, because it's really, really important as we learn that a majority of um, our age-related diseases are linked in some way to um, an inappropriate inflammatory response that is mediated by, mediated by a dysfunctional immune system that can be related to stress, okay? The other area that we're going to hone into is the, the mind-body connection as related to um, what we do to um, our gastrointestinal system. And we're relating this to nutrition and diet. And it is the gut microbiome and how that then um, interacts directly through a whole network we're going to learn about up to the brain, but also modulates that, uh, that concept that I was talking about of inflammation, okay? And how important it is to, to, to keep it in check, okay? How you have control over it to modulate it and improve your overall health by improving your gut microbiome. So that's one section, okay? Um, lastly, okay, um, and this is, again, just, as, you know, I, I think I'm not going to go through all this for you, but um, uh, what you can do is just read through it. I'm, but I, what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the, the actual course so you can see how it replicates the syllabus, okay? So we, down here, we have the full-on schedule at the end, okay? And as you go through here, it's all, you know, uh, documented by date. It tells you when things are due, when to submit. Um, we see at the very top here, um, we refer to it um, as deliverable and due dates on the right-hand side, right over here, okay? So this is the actual date. This is what we expect you to do. And then <clears throat> these are the, the deliverables that you're going to be doing on your end, okay? And we see they're, they're very, very cleanly stacked up right here, okay? Awesome. Um, I want to, you know, fast forward down. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to go over diabetes. Yes, distress can give you diabetes. Of course, diet can give you diabetes. The inflammation is part of diabetes. Uh, we're going to look at immune function right here. All right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get down here at the bottom end is how we're going to improve ourselves. So we're going to give solutions. Okay. And you're going to buy into it. And then this is something that you're going to market. Okay. All right, and, and, and you're going to use in your careers, okay? You're going to tell your friends, tell your family, you're going to tell your clients, okay? And so we go through step by step um, all the different activities that we can use to improve our overall well-being, the mind-body connection. So we're going to talk about how exercise influences that. Yes, exercise has, has a, with respect to not only activity in the brain, but activity in your muscles and your vasculature, vasculature okay? We're going to um, talk about meditation, okay? We're going to talk about gratitude. We're going to talk about music, okay? On and on and on. All right, so this is um, a, a really neat aspect of the course is we're going to give you a toolkit of solutions, okay? All right, so um, I'm going back here. Just gonna, like I said, I apologize. My, my computer's a little chunky, all right? It's a little slow. Anyway, so, so what we're going to do here is I'm, I'm going to um, just scroll down to some of the dates and then we'll re reiterate the dates. I think it's easier to look at it on my, on, on my feeling it is it's much easier to look at it in terms of um, what you're being asked to do in, in the course, okay? All righty, so uh, what do we have going on here? All right, so the, all, all the course material is free. You don't need a book. We have some really great videos and reading that, that support our goals in terms of instruction, okay? So 
there's going to be quizzes. There's going to be uh, discussion boards. It discusses right here. It shows you in the discussion boards. Now, what you need to do is you do your own primary post, and you get um, three posts on your classmates to get full credit. Okay, and I'm going to go through that in terms of the scoring in just a second. We have quizzes. Okay, so every single assignment has just a five-question multiple-choice quiz. Okay. All right, fairly easy to do, go through. The best advice is you open the quiz and then you open up either the course again in a second browser or open up the course again in a second window. So that way you'll be looking at the quiz, you'll be doing the material and you can just go bing, bing, bing like that. That's just one approach, but it's, it's, it's not the only approach, okay? We're gonna ask you to fabricate a study, okay? So this is uh, um, 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 a mock uh, journal paper submission where you follow the guidelines, you create a face page, an abstract, you do introduction to your study, um, the methods that you're gonna to use to do this study, and then um, you fabricate your results. So you just throw a bunch of numbers down and you create some graphs and, um, and describe the results. And then in the end you do a discussion, right? So it's, uh, it's something that is useful for you if you ever find yourself someday wanting to report what's going on um, either in an academic setting or in a professional setting. We then ask you to create a very, very professional pamphlet that will be used to um, maybe sell to investors, okay, or be used to to um, uh, recruit new clients in your facility and some of the treatments that you're going to be using that will make their lives better in whatever facility that you are operating, okay? And that's the, 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 this corporate marketing pamphlet, all right? And, um, we, I'll show, show you later, we have some examples on how to do it, and then I'll give some instructions via YouTube, just like this, okay? So don't worry about this, all right? We have a midterm exam and a final exam. Um, it's set with a date right here. You have 24 hours to take the exam. Once you enter the exam, you have two hours to do it. These are just all multiple choice questions, um, and it's just a reiteration of what you've been doing in the quizzes, so there's nothing to fear there as well, okay? All right. Um, if you have uh, unique um, OSAS accommodations, then uh, we can set up extended time on, on, on the exams, okay? All righty. All right, with respect to the quizzes and the discussion boards, you can work ahead, okay? And I should have said that before, all right? But uh, we have our quizzes and, uh, and discussion, we can work ahead. In fact, you can work ahead on these too, uh, the, the submissions, okay? The only thing that has a limitation of time is the midterm and final exam that are as indicated here on the final, have a set date where it's open for 24 hours, okay? All right, so that is um, that is it right here. You need to be familiar with Blackboard, okay? Um, if not, then you can contact USC with that. Uh, again, this is all of our um, legalese that we have down here and support systems. If you're having any issues, please research this and you'll figure it out, all right? Cool, all right, so that's the way that works right there, all righty. So this is, was a really cool article that I was just looking at right there, all right? So, so we're going to go to the class. I'm gonna start with the announcement page here. I'm gonna go back to where we were, okay? So um, your approach and what you should do right now just to familiarize yourself with what was going on is to go in and check out each of these hyperlinks right here that are within, the, within Blackboard over here on the left-hand taskbar, okay? And see what they look like, okay? All righty. Um, and I'm just going to go through them real quickly for you. Again, here's your syllabus right here. Here's your weekly assignments right here. This is a description of the, of the two writing assignments. One is the mock journal paper. The other one is this corporate marketing pamphlet. Um, this is where you're going to access your two exams at these dates right here. Um, this right here is a whole set of how-to folders. So you can go in there and learn how to do each of these tasks up here. Okay. And, um, then, and every once in a while you can hear my dogs in the background, okay? And that's okay. That's, that's Lucy here. Watch, she's staring at me. Ready? There she is. Lucy's a German shirt hair pointer. We rescued her and her brother. They're about a year and a half old, and they are kind of wild. So they're going to be part of the class as well. All righty. Um, so uh, you can um, click on this and, and send us out questions. You can email us questions, and then we'll uh, transmit our answers um, about anything in the class, we just happen to put it down here for the midterm and the final um, to everybody. So it'd be like an uh, like, like answer, asking questions in in a true lecture setting. Okay, alrighty, cool. 
So that's the setup there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the weekly assignments, okay? So you click right there on the left-hand taskbar. It takes you in. Again, it describes everything that's going on here, okay? So we're going to have, I'm going to create a, a lecture just like this um, for every assignment, okay? And it will guide you through the videos and reading material that we have in place so you can learn um, the concept that we're trying to to uh, um create for you for that particular assignment. I was kind of grasping at words right there. So anyways, okay. So um, um, within each assignment folder, we're gonna look at this in a second. Um, it has my lecture. It's gonna have some readings. Um, associated with the readings, there's gonna be some really cool videos, okay? Sometimes it's more video heavy. Sometimes it's, it's more reading heavy. There's gonna be a quiz associated with that. So you can open it up to class twice. And then the discussion board, a prompt that is based on everything you did for that particular assignment, okay? All right, so that's that's the layout right there, okay? Um, you can work ahead with this, as I said, and we're going to show you how everything is open right now. Uh, we see down here, uh, with respect to the discussion board prompt, okay, the, the rubric for grading is you give one post of substance in, in response to the prompt, okay? And then you go in and you do three posts in response to your classmates. So you read what they had to say and comment on, it, on that. And it's pretty informative for you to go back and forth and back and forth um, um, to learn about all this stuff. Um, so um, yeah, so that's, that's the format of that, okay? And um, you know, while you can work ahead, you can't get behind, okay? So for each assignment, we're gonna see um, that there is a date on it. There's a date stamp. And so um, it, it needs to be done the following week, uh, that Monday, uh, by 11.59 p.m. And then you'll, what you're going to see is we have set timers into Blackboard, and it will then close down the discussion. It will then close down the quiz so you can't access it, okay? So work ahead, but don't fall behind. That's key, all right? All righty. We have archived uh, discussions uh, that you can access later on if you want to, um, to, to go in there and look at the material, okay? All righty. Um, we understand that you guys are not, about, not biologists. So, so um, yeah, every semester people get a little unsettled uh, initially because like, oh, God, it's biology. Believe me, I am the king of uh, translating the biology into a much more consumable way so that you're going to come away really educated in the biology um, and and uh, be able to, to tell your classmates, your friends, and your clients all about it, okay? So don't worry about it, all right? We're going to have fun. We're going to have a lot of fun with this class. All right, so here we see right here, all right, all the curriculum we have for this class, okay? Then what you look at right here is we have week one, okay? So this is going to open up on Monday, next Monday, okay? You can get in there right now if you want to, okay? Officially, um, it is, it is, these are all open right now. But again, you see that it is due the following week, what I was talking about on July 3rd. This one's due the following week on July 3rd. So those are the first two assignment modules. Then we come down here, okay? And we're looking right here. And this is um, the second week, okay? And this is uh, the assignments for number three and assignment number four. And you see they have, a due date of July 10th, July 10th, okay? So you just stay on top of this. Now, um, uh, when you look in here, okay, um, after July 3rd, um, the, uh, the discussion and the quiz will be closed, okay? You can look right now and you'll see they're all open. Okay, we can go down here, right here. This is just a reminder. This is not a prompt to do anything, just a reminder that um, you're gonna have the midterm exam and it's going to be based on everything all the way through week three here, okay, which would then be um, the sixth assignment, okay? And then moving forward, um, the final exam is going to be based on all these how-tos of improving your life, okay? And, um, and uh, each exam stands is a standalone exam. It's not cumulative. So we get done with the first part, and it's gone, and we go on with the second part. All right, so let's go in here and let's just take a look at how the format looks, okay? So I click on that, okay? My lecture is not posted. You'll see there none of them are posted. That's where it goes right there, okay? At the end of the semester, you'll see that there'll be lectures play, put into place for every single one. I'm going to include this how-to lecture um, in here as well, okay? 
Alrighty, there's some diagrams that I would then go over on my first lecture that will help explain the biology of stress. Now we're gonna kick this, this first uh, week off by asking you to spend the time to watch this amazing documentary. It was done in 2008. It's, it's, uh, it, it never loses its, um, its, uh, rel its relevance. So it's a super great do documentary about, it's about 56 minutes long, about um, researching stress, but also the, 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 the biology and the sociology of stress, okay? And so what you can do is you click right there, okay, and you start the video. Um, you can go big right here by clicking on YouTube, and it takes you to the, um, the actual um, uh, video. So you watch that, okay? And like I said, one thing you might do, okay, is you can just go into Blackboard here a second time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat right now also, just to kind of give you some relevance here. We're going to look at last summer. And um, when I go into last summer, okay, um, what I'm going to do here, this is my instructor view. I just wanted to show you the way things are going to line up in terms of um, the weekly assignments right here. Uh, it looks different than your view because it's instructor view. Okay, we come in here and we look at week one from last summer. The difference you see is the lectures that are posted right there, okay? So that's the big difference right here. So every single week, um, um, and there's a couple where you need to go back this way, or um, we can uh, go back over here, up here, I'm clicking on that part of the task bar, and I can go all the way down here to psychoneuroimmunology, and once again, you see, here's my lecture on psychoneuroimmunology, and, and I guide you through this curriculum, okay? Awesome. It's pretty easy peasy, guys. You guys are going to have this totally wired. And so I encourage you not to worry about that. All right. Okay. So I accidentally went. Did I get out of the course? I think I did. All right. Let's go here. I apologize. For that. Like I said, my, my computer's a little, my little jumpy here. So, all right. So while I'm waiting for the uh, internet to come back up here and to get back into the course here, um, be patient with me, okay? Awesome. I apologize for this, guys. Um, in the meantime, okay, is it coming? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. How funny is that? All right, I'm going to try and get in Blackboard twice. Double my my problems here, okay? There we go, we're in. Okay, awesome. All right, wow, it really kicked me out, didn't it? So I'm gonna have to do the whole duo authentication thing here, which is all good. There, okay. That's what you get when you have live access. Okay, very cool. All right, so we're gonna go into here again, all right? We're almost there, friends, and I apologize for this, okay? Awesome. Okay, we're back where we started here, and right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get in a second time. The only reason I'm doing this is I just kinda of wanted to illustrate this concept of um, opening up the browser twice okay so what you can do okay i have this uh, uh um uh assignments okay both lined up here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into here okay all right so my video is gonna go over everything okay you can watch it you can read up on everything and at the end okay while you're doing it or after you're doing it this is all up to you but this is clicking on the quiz right here all right you hit begin okay and voila now every time you answer the quiz you save the answer, okay? So, um, and so, so, you, so you look at the quiz questions right there, okay? You study them, okay? And then you can go back here and do the curriculum. So you can go back and forth, back and forth, okay? And that's basically what I'm doing right now, okay? Awesome. All right. Um, so that's part one, okay? All right. So um, what else do I want to show you? So that's basically, you know, everything. You'll see that um, if we go in here to the actual uh, week one assignments, okay? The prompt here, the discussion, is very, very much related to what you've been going over here. So um, my next lecture is going to have um, 
an overview of these two videos, okay? Robert Sapolsky is, is the absolute guru of stress research, so why not tap into his expertise? Um, and then we have an article that he wrote about hitting the sweet spot in terms of being able to modulate stress. So we're going to go over that, right? This is called an inverted U. So I'm getting ahead of myself here, but that's okay, all right? Now, what you can also do, like I said, at any point in time, I'm going to hit right here. You can scroll down any point in time and just go anywhere else that you want to go. How about psychoneuroimmunology? Okay. You're welcome to work ahead. <clears throat> okay. This is last year's right here. Okay. So that's not valid. Okay. So what I need to do is I'm going to exit this preview. Okay. And, um, and we'll go from there. All right. So we can go into here. Okay. And I'll go into say week two. All right, how about that one? Dare, okay, all right. So we're gonna have a lecture video that's gonna be right in here and I have a little graphic that's gonna help us up with this concept of genetics. The video is missing, okay, just to let you know, all right? So, um, but you're welcome to work ahead without my guidance, that's up to you, all right? This is all up to you. You do the quiz, you do the discussion right down here, okay? There it is, there's your quiz, boom. There's your discussion, and this is the material that I'll be working through. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to show you, okay? Awesome, let's go back to over here. The taskbar, okay? So uh, go back and forth, okay? Um, this is a, getting the, the menu of the different assignments right here. Um, we'll see down here we have uh, the assignments, okay? So, yeah. so you do it through turn it in, okay? God bless, turn it in. Um, this is the, uh, uh, the goals of the assignment, okay? Um, this is what you're supposed to do. Very clear instructions. Again, it's a, a it's a mock paper. You're just pretending, okay? Here's a couple of examples of um, of papers that have been done on prior semesters. So you can just click onto this and you can take a look right here. All right. So I'll just look at Jessica Hong's. All right, and there it is. Okay. So we'll go like that. And it's coming up here. Boy, my computer is chugging. All right, there it is, okay? So um, this is how uh, Jessica decided to um, form, format her paper, all right? So we go like this. <clears throat> there, all right, so there's her, that's her, uh, there we go. So there, that is her face page right there, okay? Um, there's her abstract, objectives, okay? Um, there's our introduction with citations, okay? It's all listed in their methods, okay? Um, this is what she did. She looked at salivary cortisol, okay? She created a table, awesome. She created figures, awesome, okay? Um, she then had a discussion with references. That's what that's all about. So you can use that as your guidance, okay? Same thing down here. We can go down here and again, Look at um, Jessica's marketing pamphlet, a whole different scenario, different approach. All right, and uh, get right in there. Awesome. So she has just a, a title page here saying who she is. And then this is her beautiful marketing pamphlet for the interventions that she's going to be having at her facility so this is an example of the facility that she's running okay how she's going to set it up okay so the graphics are true okay and then she goes over what she's learned in class okay uh, along with citations okay about diet which is awesome okay um, um about psychological interventions okay all right so it's very very cleanly done and you can check that out Oh, right. So that's the approach there. Okay. So it's, um, it's, it's a real fun class. You guys are going to be able to kind of throw yourselves into it. Do not worry about it. We have the how-to folders down here. Okay. All right. And okay. All right. So how to take quizzes and exams. Okay. How to navigate 508. So this is last year's. I'm going to throw this video right in there for you guys. Okay. As the new dates. Okay. Um, talks about how to approach each weekly assignment, okay? Tells you step by step, step by step again, how to do everything. So it's a reiteration of what I just did in my video, okay? Um, 
Blackboard help, turn it in help, okay? Um, again, this is the kind of receipt that you get when you do a turn it in assignment, okay? So you should be familiar with that. Um, and these are the steps you take to have a successful submission of your turn it in assignment, All right? I think that's it. So, um, so there's really nothing else that I need to provide. Sorry for the for the glitchy in the computer. And um, I'm talking about life challenges, okay? Um, this just happened to me. Actually, I've been working on this. I'm an athlete, and you'll hear all about it. But um, so right here, right here, um, you can see this little bump right here. So I tore my biceps tendon subsequent to needing shoulder surgery here. So that's probably going to evolve <laughs> during um, the next. A uh, couple of weeks in this class, um, I anticipate this happening. You know, I just first of all, I have to schedule and everything. And the, our healthcare in the United States can be kind of slow, sad, even when you have really great insurance. So I'm kind of trying to work myself through the system. And uh, and um, yeah, I, I, you know, how did it happen? You know, bad luck. I tear out joints. Um, I'm an athlete, and so I've done this my whole life, and it just it is what it is. So, but I continue to push it. So somewhat under my control, I probably shouldn't have gone surfing this week, but I did. And I tore, tore out the ligament because the shoulders needs, needs some surgery on the uh, cartilage and the bone spurs. Oh, well. So I'm going to have to wrap my head around it. I'm going to have to uh, react to this. So uh, the mantra of this class is something that uh, your co-instructor, Julia, has told me many times is sometimes you can't control what's going to happen to you. But your goal is to be able to control how you react, right? And that's what we're going to learn in this class today and in the future. Okay, awesome, cool. All righty, guys. Well, I'm going to I'm done with this video. I'm going to send it out to you guys right now, and uh, we'll see you next week using the same approach and format.